do so. First race field straightened away. Here they come. Looks like Long Ranger is going to spot them at the dispatch. And they're off. Batten a thousand and Rocky Bomber away the best. Coming up on the inside is Gimme All the Cash. And on the far outside is now Pico's Cricket. Racing in fifth is Joan Deere. Then in the sixth position is Del Hart. And we have Cantab Speed. And Long Ranger is the trailer as they make their way onto the back stretch. For the first time this race, Batten a thousand and Roger Hammer are in front by three. And it's Gimme All the Cash in second, the opening quarter on the board, in 29 and 3. Rocky Bomber and Billy Carter racing in the third position. Then it's three back to Pico's Cricket, another three back to Joan Deere, and another three back to Del Earnhardt, three back to Cantab Speed. And going off stride is Pico's Cricket. Pico's Cricket has gone off stride as they make their way into the stretch with just over one lap to go. It's Batten 1000 still in front. Then it's Gimme All the Cash in second. Rocky Bomber is in third. The half mile was on the board. One minute, two-fifths of a second. Joan Deere is now up into the fourth position. Del Earnhardt is fifth. Racing in sixth is Cantab Speed. Long Ranger is seventh. And the trailer is Batten, now Pico's Cricket. They make their way onto the back stretch. It's Batten 1,000 in front. Been that way since the dispatch. Give me all the cash is up into the second position. Then it's Rocky Bomber in third. Joan Deere is in fourth. Three quarters on the board, 130 and two. They make their way past the Comfort Inn. It's Batten 1,000 still in front. Give me all the cash is in the second position. Then in third is going to be Rocky Bomber. Now up to take fifth is Cantab Speed. Back into the sixth position is Joan Deere. They come to the top of the stretch. It's Batten 1,000 and Roger Hammer out in front. Batten 1,000 will take them. Dispatch to finish. And then came Give Me All the Cash. Rocky Bomber, Cantab Speed got up for fourth. And then it was Joan Deere, Del Earnhardt. Off and pacing, TSM Artemis T goes right to the front. Ain't got a home is right there too. And Mache time also makes a move as they go into the first of four turns. So it's going to be TSM, Artemis T, and Eric Neal in front. Mache Time is in the second position. As they make their way onto the back stretch, it's Miss Gray C in the third position. Racing in a fourth is Ain't Got a Home. Then we have Queen Kendall going Wiglin, and Kiss on the Lips is the trailer. The opening quarter on the board, 28 seconds flat. Mache Time and TSM, Artemis T, the top two. Miss Gracie is in the third position. Ain't Got a Home is in fourth. Racing in the fifth position, now making a move on the outside, is Kiss on the Lips. Back into the sixth position is Queen Kendall. And going Wiglin is the trailer. As they make their way past the stands and the fans with just over one lap to go. Chuck Perry Jr. and Mache Time took them through a half in 59 seconds flat. TSM Artemis T back into the second position. Miss Gracie is third. Kiss on the Lips is up into the fourth position. Then racing in fifth is Queen Kendall. And then it's Ain't Got a Home in sixth. And Going Wiglin is showing no interest and sees the rest of them as they make their way onto the back stretch for the final time this race. It's Mache time. Now Kiss on the Lips makes a move under Billy Carter. Kiss on the Lips coming up on the outside to narrowly take the lead after three quarters in 129 and 2. Mache time fighting back. Now beginning to fade. Queen Kendall is up into the third position. And it's TSM Artemis T back into fourth. Miss Gracie is in the fifth position. Ain't got a home is fifth. And the trailer is going wiggling. So anybody's race as the field turns for home. It's Kiss on the Lips still in front from Mache time. Here comes Queen Kendall on the far outside. TSM Artemis T on the inside. Queen Kendall. Queen Kendall. Father and son top two. Queen Kendall. They're off. Penn goes right to the front. Mandeville is up to challenge for the second position. And on the inside third is just a passenger racing in fourth is Lucky Sevens. Fifth along the inside is Swanful Grace and Jammin' Jack is the trailer as they make their way through the first of four turns. So Penn and Sierra Seidner take the lead onto the back stretch.
Mandeville is up to the second position. Just a passenger is in the third position on the inside. Lucky Sevens is fourth on the outside. Swanful Grace is in fifth. And Jam and Jack at the tail of the field. The opening quarter on the board in 29 and 2. So it's going to be Penn who has led since the dispatch. Mandeville is in the second position. And it's just a passenger in third. Lucky Sevens is in fourth. Swanful Grace is fifth. And Jam and Jack is sixth and last as they make their way single file through the stretch past the stands and the fans with just over one lap to go. So it's going to be Penn and Sierra Seidner in front from Mandeville in the second position. Half mile on the board in 59 and 2. Just a passenger is in third, then it's Lucky Sevens in fourth. Jam and Jack is up into the fifth position, and Swanful Grace is the trailer midway around the clubhouse turn. It's Penn still in front, making a move on the far outside to take fourth now is Jam and Jack. As they go on to the back stretch, just a passenger making a move to challenge Penn. So it's Penn, just a passenger, and Jam and Jack. Back into the fourth position now is Mandeville. Three quarters on the board. 130 and 1. Then in the fourth position, fifth position is Lucky 7. Swanful Grace is the trailer. They make their way into the far turn. It's Penn still in front. Jam and Jack is making a move on the far outside. But as they come to the top of the stretch, it's Penn still in front. Jam and Jack making a final lunge as they come inside the final strides. And on the inside is Mandeville. But here is Jam and Jack. Jam and Jack and Stacy McClenahan hold off Mandeville. Penn faded back into third. Then came just a. They're off. Even dispatch for them all. Lick Creek Speedway gets away to a good start. Rollatown is right there too. Santa Cruza A is on the outside in third. Racing in fourth is double parked. Then in the fifth position is going off stride is Rollatown. Rollatown going off stride. Rollatown has gone off stride as they make their way onto the back stretch. So it's Lick Creek Speedway who takes the lead. And then it's Santa Cruza A in second through an opening quarter, 28-1. and one. Then in the third position is double parked. Jumping Jilly Bean is up into the fourth position. Hannah on a verge is in fifth. Racing in sixth is Shakira Song. Always a blue sky is seventh. And the trailer is Rollatown, who went off stride midway around the first of four turns. So they come single file past the stands and the fans with just over one lap to go. It's Lick Creek Speedway and Santa Cruz A, the top two. Jumping. Then it's double parked in the third position. Racing in fourth is Shakira Song. Back in the fifth position is Hannah on the verge. Jumping Jilly Bean is in six through a half in 58 and three. Always a Blue Sky is sixth. And Rollatown showing no interest is last as they make their way through turn number three. And Lick Creek Speedway still in front by two. Santa Cruz A is in the second position. Double parked is in third. Hannah on the verge is in fourth through three quarters on the board in 127 and four. And Double Parked beginning to make a move to challenge Lick Creek Speedway as they make their way around the far turn. Hannah on the verge is now up into the third position. Santa Cruz A is losing steam and fading fast. As they make their way to the top of the stretch, Jumping Jilly Bean is now fourth. And they're into the stretch. It's Lick Creek Speedway still in front. Double Parked is in the second position and trying to make one final lunge. Lick Creek Speedway and Fern Paquette Jr. to win it. Double Parked was second. And on the verge, got up late to be third. Then Shakira's song, Jumping Jill. They're off. Adelia Hanover gets away to a good start. Candy's Fortune is right there, too. Caviar Carmel, who was reluctant to start, is now in the third position. So it's Candy's Fortune and Denarius Dorch on the inside to take the lead from Adelia Hanover. Then it's Incredible Cache in third. Caviar Carmel back into fourth. Racing in fifth is Light My Torch. Then Ella on the Beach is in sixth. Then we have McArdle on a Verge. And the trailer is the ever-popular Hey Siri. Caviar Carmel begins to make a move on the outside to challenge for the lead from Candy's Fortune through an opening quarter in 30-1. and one. And there goes Caviar Carmel and Tyler Sheehan in front. Light My Torch. Now Candy's Fortune in the second position. Adelia Hanover is in third. Incredible Cache is in fourth. Back into the fifth position is Ella on the beach. Then it's Light My Torch in sixth. McArdle on a Verge is seventh. And Hey Siri is the trailer 
as they make their way past the stands and the fans with just over one lap to go. It's Caviar Carmel and Tyler Sheehan in front from Candy's Fortune in the second position. Half mile on the board, one minute, three fifths. Then it's Adelia Hanover, Incredible Cache. Ella on the beach as they make their way into turn number three. Then it's Light My Torch, McCardle on a Verge, and Hey Siri is the trailer as they make their way onto the back stretch. Candy's Fortune reclaims the lead from Caviar Carmel. Then it's Adelia Hanover in the third position. Incredible Cache is in fourth, so anybody's race with three quarters on the board in 130 and 1. They make their way into the far turn. It's Candy's Fortune still in front. Coming up on the far outside is Ella on the beach. But it's Candy's Fortune still in front from Caviar Carmel. Back into the third position is Adelia Hanover. Incredible Cache is third. Ella on the beach trying to make one final lunge. And they're into the stretch. Candy's Fortune and Caviar Carmel, the top two coming up on the inside is Adelia Hanover. But as they come inside the final strides, Caviar Carmel, Caviar Carmel and Tyler Sheehan, reluctant to start, but wins. And then comes Candy's Fortune, Adelia Hanover, Ella on the beach, two minutes flat. They're off. And it's Pilgrims tied away well. KJ Kyra is on the inside, and Kyla is going up to challenge. Now into the third position is the handyman, and Pilgrim's Tide is on the far outside in fourth. Back to the inside for Bosch. Then it's Real McCoy, Stash, and the trailer is DeMonte Vick as they make their way onto the backstretch for the first time this race. So it's Billy Carter and Kyla who take the lead from KJ Kyra in the second position. The opening quarter on the board in 28 and 1. And it's Bosch now in the third position. De Handyman is in fourth going off stride as they made their way into the second turn was Stash. Stash has gone off stride. So the rest of them are going single file past the flagpole and it's Kyla in front. AJ Kyra is in the second position. Then it's Bosch in third. De Handyman is in fourth. Then in the fifth position is Real McCoy. Six is Pilgrim's Tide. Then DeMonte Vick in the trailer showing absolutely no interest after going off stride is Stash. The half mile was on the board in 58 and two-fifths of a second. Into turn three they go, and it's Kyla still in front. The lead is now three lengths. KJ Kyra is in the second position. Then it's Real McCoy now third. Bosch is back into fourth. Then it's the handyman in fifth. Pilgrim's Tide is in the sixth position. DeMonte Vick is seventh, and Stash is the trailer. So it's Kyla through three quarters. 128 and 1, passing the comfort in for the final time this race. Real McCoy is now up into the second position. And then it's KJ Kyra in third. Bosch is in fourth, now fifth to Handyman. Is up into fourth as they make their way past the flagpole. Kyla and Real McCoy are duking it out. KJ Kyra is in third, and they're into the stretch. Kyla and Real McCoy still in front, coming up on the outside to challenge KJ Kyra. But it's Real McCoy and Bryson Dunning in front, and Real McCoy will win it. Bosch up the rail to take second. KJ Kyra was third. Then came Kyla. As the rain continues to fall in Woodstock, Virginia, here they come. And there they go. Smiling Terror goes right to the front. Slick Mick is right there too, but it's going to be Smiling Terror to take them into the first of four turns in front. Alis is in the second position. All Gold is in third. Lions. Beach Boy is now fifth. Here's Slick Mick to make a move into the third position. Then back into the sixth position is Pacific Stride. Western Jenna is in seventh. And Claremont is the trailer. So it's going to be Smiling Terror and Bryson Dunning to take them down the back stretch through an opening quarter in 28 and three fifths of a second. A list is in the second position. Slick Mick is up in the third. Lions Beach Boy is in fourth. Then in fifth is Pacific Stride. Sixth position goes to All Gold. Then it's Western Jenna in seventh. And eighth and last is Claremont, so they come single file past the stands and the fans with just over one lap to go in this claiming pace. Smiling Terror out in front by five through a half in 57 and four-fifths of a second. Then it's A-list in the second position. Lions Beach Boy is up in the third. Slick Mick is back into fourth. Then it's Western Jenna in the fifth position. Now up to take sixth is all gold. Then at the tail of the field, 
Is Claremont down the back stretch? They go. It's all smiling terror, all by himself. And it's A list in the second position. Lions Beach Boy is third through three quarters. One minute, 27 seconds flat, and then specific stride on the outside in fourth. But they round the far turn, and it's all smiling terror in front. Now up to take second is Lions Beach Boy as they come to the top of the stretch. Smiling terror in front by double digits, turning for home. Lions Beach Boy second best. Then on the inside in third is A-list, but as they come to the line, it's Smiling Terror and Bryson Dunning drawing away to win it. And then it was Lions Beach Boy tight for third between Slick Mick and A-list, Pacific Stride, Western Jenna, Claremont. Abanez is off stride at the dispatch. Abanez is off stride. St. Elian's Fire going right to the front with Billy Ray Hanover. And then on the inside is Little Town Girl. So it's going to be Little Town Girl who wins the lead as they go into the first of four turns. Billy Ray Hanover is in the second position. Ems Ross Cop Coltrane is in a third. Then St. Elian's Fire back into fourth. Racing in the fifth position is KJ Diamond. Then it's Maggie's Mo Money. Or rather, some for all, Maggie's Mo Money is in seventh. And Abanez is the trailer. The opening quarter went in 29 and 4. Roger Hammer and Little Town Girl take them into turn two in front. Billy Ray Hanover is in the second position. Coming up on the outside in third is KJ Diamond. St. Elian's Fire is back into fourth. Ems Ross Cup Coltrane is in fifth. And racing in the sixth position is some for all, Maggie's Mo Money, and the trailer is Abanez, and Little Town Girl with one lap to go, takes him through the half in one minute, four-fifths of a second. Billy Ray Hanover is now in the third position. KJ Diamond is up on the outside now to take second. Then it's Billy Ray Hanover back into third. Ems Ross Cop Coltrane is now fifth. Then it's St. Elian's Fire up into the fourth position. Racing in sixth is some for all. Maggie's Mo Money is in seventh, and the trailer is still Abanez, who went off stride at the dispatch. Three quarters, 130 and four. And Little Town Girl is still in front. KJ Diamond is in the second position, but making a move now to take fourth is some for all as they make their way into the far turn. Billy Ray Hanover is in third, then it's St. Elian's Fire in fifth. They make their way to the top of the stretch. It's Little Town Girl still in front. Billy Ray Hanover is in the second position. But as they come inside the final strides, it's Little Town Girl in front. Little Town Girl to win it. Roger Hammer with a driving double. And then it was Billy Ray Hanover tight for third between Sum for All and KJ Diamond, 201 and 1. KJ Michael Gary is going to spot them a bit. They're off. Bob Lee Swagger and Skyway Billy get away the best. In the middle there is General Simba in the third position, then Follow the Dream is in fourth. Perfect Ending is in the fifth position, racing in sixth. Is Despicto Lou, then it's Cool Your Heels in seventh, and KJ Michael Gary is the trailer. So Skyway Billy and Todd Warren are going to take them down the backstretch in front, but here comes General Simba and Archie Buford on the outside to take the lead. So General Simba will take them through that opening quarter. And in the second position is Skyway Billy. General Simba is in third. Follow the Dream is in a fourth. Into the turn they go. Perfect Ending is racing in fifth as they go single file. Despicto Lou is sixth. Then the final two are Cool Your Heels and KJ Michael Gary. As they come past the stands and the fans with one lap to go. Bob Lee Swagger and Fern Pocket Jr. in front by a length and a quarter. Racing in the second position is Skyway Billy as they make their way into the turn. It's Follow the Dream in the fourth position on the inside. Then on the outside in fifth is Despicto Lou. Perfect Ending is back into the sixth position. Then it's Cool Your Heels. And KJ Michael Gary is now making a move up into seventh as they make their way onto the back stretch. Cool Your Heels is the trailer. Here's Bob Lee Swagger. And now on the far outside is General Simba as they pass the Comfort Inn. Skyway Billy is in the third position, and Despicto Lou is fourth. Starting to lose some gas is Follow the Dream as they make their way into the far turn. It's Bob Lee Swagger and General Simba, the top two. 
Skyway Billy is in the third position as they come into the top of the stretch. And it's Bob Lee Swagger, been in front since the dispatch. Archie Buford with some right-handed urging on General Simba. Then on the inside is Skyway Billy. Skyway Billy in time. Then it was General Simba, Bob Lee Swagger, Despicto Lou, KJ Michael Gary. Race with luck off stride at the dispatch. Mr. Untitled goes right to the front. Racing in the second position now is Gibberish. Then Shady's Finale is in fourth. It's in the fifth position is Sweet and Fearless. Then Hot and Fancy. And the trailer is Race with Luck down the back stretch they go. Mr. Untitled and Shady's Finale, the top two. Gibberish is in third. Buzzer Beater is in fourth. The opening quarter, 26 and three. Sweet and Fearless is in fifth. Then in the sixth position is Hot and Fancy. Absolutely last is Race with Luck as they make their way past the flagpole. Mr. Untitled and Shady's Finale, still the top two. Then in the third position is Gibberish. Then it's Buzzer Beater in fourth, up to take fifth is Sweet and Fearless, then in sixth is Hot and Fancy, and Race with Luck is the trailer with a circuit to go. 102 flat the time for the half mile. It's Mr. Untitled still in front. Shady's Finale is in the second position, then it's Gibberish in third. Sweet and Fearless is on the outside in fourth. Buzzer Beater is back into the fifth position. Hot and Fancy remains in sixth, and Race with Luck is showing absolutely no interest as they make their way up the Woodstock backstretch for the final time today. Mr. Untitled and Eric Neal take them through three quarters, 130 flat. Sweet and Fearless is now up into the second position. Then back into third is Shady's Finale. Gibberish is in fourth, now making a move into third as they make their way into the far turn. It's Mr. Untitled still in front. Here comes Sweet and Fearless to make a move. Then it's Gibberish in third, and they're into the stretch. Mr. Untitled. Sweet and Fearless is in the second position. And here is Gibberish on the far outside. Gibberish, any of them, coming down to the line. Mr. Untitled, Sweet and Fearless. Looked like Gibberish over Sweet and Fearless. Then came Mr. Untitled.